with the Breakfast Club, bitches. Donkey of the day. When Charlemagne the God, I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Well, Duvall, we're going to your hometown today, okay? Donkey of the day for Tuesday, November 2nd goes to a Florida English teacher, a Florida English teacher named Carolyn Melanie Lee. She is a 60-year-old English language arts teacher at Darnell Cookman Middle High School in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, mm. Salute to everyone who listens to us on 93.3 The Beat in there. Jacksonville. Me too. Drop on the clues bombs for Jacksonville, Florida. 93.3 The Beat. Too. Shout to Jacksonville. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Salute to 93.3 uh -oh. The Beat. Wow. That's, hey, listen, I like Jacksonville too. Florida, Florida, Florida. All right. What does your Uncle Charla always say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. Florida just different. Okay, that's what I was laughing about. Florida just different. People from Florida are different. The energy is different. Such a beautiful place, but also a dangerous place because if you're trying to avoid crazy, it's virtually impossible to do in Florida. That's why I think another season of Squid Game has to happen in Florida. Let them go down there and let everyone who owes money in PPE loans compete to win a bunch of money so they can pay off their debt. And one of the challenges would have to be to avoid crazy. In Florida, that's impossible. Okay, see, I tell y'all on this radio all the time, in life, all we are trying to do every day is avoid the crazy of others. In Florida, if avoiding crazy was a challenge on Squid Game, everybody would die, all right? Because in Florida, you just don't know who's who. See, when it comes to being a city girl, there's clearly no statute of limitation. And 60-year-old Carolyn Melanie Lee proves that. Would you like to know what the hell I'm talking about? Well, let's go to WJXT4 for the report, please. This local teacher of the year has been arrested, charged with child abuse. The teacher is Caroline Lee from Darnell Cookman School of the Medical Arts, and she was named the school's teacher of the year just two days ago. The victim stated in the report that when she arrived to her first period class on Friday, her teacher said Lee wanted to talk with her. The report says Lee brought the student back to her classroom and asked the student why she threatened her. According to the report, the student said she never threatened Lee, but Lee then reached across the table and struck the student with the palm of her hand. The report goes on to say Lee called the victim expletive and then kept hitting her on the top of her head as her nose kept bleeding. The victim stated she began trying to hold both of Lee's arms to keep from being struck and Lee kicked her lower leg. According to the report, the violent incident was preceded by an Instagram argument between Lee and the victim on the Duval County Schools page. This was where Lee was being congratulated for winning Teacher of the Year two days prior. There was a comment that questioned if Lee was the teacher that used the N-word last year in class. A response from Lee said that she used it in the context of the book of Mice and Men. The student said on the post that that was not the right thing to do and Lee agreed. In the report, Lee said she interpreted one of the comments as a threat to kill her. First of all, drop on the clues bombs right. for of Mice and Men. Okay. Len Lenny and George, I mean, one of the saddest tales you will ever read in your life, man. Oh. <sighs> Got emotional thinking about it. A 60-year-old Florida English teacher who was named Teacher of the Year two days prior to this incident, decided to set it on a student because the student was popping off about her on Instagram. Can you imagine being 60 years old, not liking a comment you saw about yourself on Instagram, and then storming into a classroom and demanding that the student leave with you because you got beef? Sidebar. Word of advice, when someone has beef with you, never leave with them. Never go with them where they want you to go because they're just trying to get you alone somewhere so they can feel comfortable committing whatever crime it is they're about to commit on you. Nope, if you about that life, handle it on site, wherever we at. Okay, I'm not about to follow you somewhere and make you more comfortable so you can violate me. And that's exactly what happened here because when Caroline got that student in the, cl in the class alone, she absolutely asked, what's up now, Hope? Talk that talk you was talking on IG now then. I'm reading the New York Post and it says Caroline struck the student in the face with the heel of her palm and called her a F and B word repeatedly as she landed several more strikes on the top of her head and kicked her in the lower leg. Keep in mind, okay, keep in mind, this is who the Duval County Public Schools called Teacher of the Year two days prior to this incident. Now, Caroline got mad at this student because the student got on IG and criticized her for getting the award. I, you know, would simply like to say that student was right. A million, billion, trillion percent correct. Drop on the clues bombs for that student. All right. There's no way this old ass city girl should have won teacher of the year. And those students who are in that classroom with her on the regular understand that better than anyone. And if she felt so comfortable doing that to that young girl, that means she's probably been doing that to students. Okay. I had a teacher like that in fourth grade. 
Whitesville Elementary School in Mount Corner, South Carolina. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she alive or dead and people be liking the suit. But boy, she used to be putting hands on students like her name was Clarissa Shields. So I am glad that this young student called this teacher out on social media and then immediately after the incident went to the guidance counselor to report the alleged attack. Now, where is this young lady's parents? Where is her family? Grandma? Mama? Aunt? Sister? Play cousins? Caroline... You owe that family some blood, okay? You owe a woman and that young lady's family a fade. Come outside, they're not gonna jump you, all right? It's time for Floridians to have a crazy contest to see who can out crazy who. She put her hands on your child, now you must put, you know, your hands on her, all in the name of Trina. Those are the rules of Florida, all right? Now, Caroline has been removed from the classroom and will not return, pending the judicial and internal procedures. <sighs> this is just another reminder that there is full and then there is Florida Fool. And ain't no fool like Florida Fool because Florida Fool don't stop. Please let Remy Ma give Caroline Melanie Lee the biggest hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. And salute the district superintendent, Dr. Diana Green. She said, uh, We will cooperate with all investigations and pending those results, we will take the actions necessary to stand up for and protect our students. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.